good morning. It's half six in the morning. Uh, why am I asleep? I thought I'd vlog my day today because something not fun is happening. I've got to go to the hospital today for some scans and I'm awake way too early because I am nervous and anxious and stressy and I'm not making much sense this time of the morning. I'm a bit spleefy. I have to go to the hospital today to have two scans uh, in one go for my endometrioma, a normal ultrasound on the stomach, and then a transvaginal ultrasound. Oh goody, who doesn't love them? Basically when a probe about that long, it is lubricated and stuck up your vagina to, um, to have a poke around and look uh, for or at the cysts that are currently living on my left ovary. I have to have it once a year so that they are, you know, checked up on and see that they haven't grown or mutated and turned cancerous. But it's not till two o'clock this afternoon and it's currently half six in the morning. So I'm going to take you on my day. I don't know where I got the concept in my head that to hit you was a sign of love. Mm -hmm. If he's hitting you, then that means he loves you because he wouldn't bother yeah. if he didn't love you. So that means he loves you. I think women stay because they think that they're in love. That's what it was for me. I thought that it was love. But I also think that women are afraid. Mm -hmm. And for whatever reason, maybe they feel like they can't make it on their own without the person. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. My eyes are just not going to open today properly, are they? I'm having a very tired, low confidence, extremely cysticky acne day. So I'm going to stick a little slap on my face for this. I want to go back to sleep. I ended up watching Red Table Talks with um, the Pickett Smith family, which is uh, Jada Pickett Smith, Willow Smith, and I can't remember the nan's name because they just keep calling her Nan or Gammy. Um, but it's three different generations of of women sat round a red table, and to beginning at the beginning, see, Spoofy can't speak in a sentence. At the beginning of starting to watch this series, I did think it was just going to be some kind of ego boosting thing for the women and I couldn't be more wrong. They did want to race. It's just kind of slapped me through the eyeballs a little bit and, and taught me some stuff. Yes, they're in a very privileged position where they can bring these people in, they can have these conversations and they have three generations that are still talking to each other. But I think that has a lot to do with the fact they are so open and they talk about these things and just really love the concept of getting three different generations around or four or five generations around a table and having an open discussion about the things that are going on nowadays and learning from each other and it's it's really quite wonderful i'll link it down below if you want to watch it it's on facebook i think so i'm gonna hide these zits because they annoy me i'm tired did i say that i really should be asleep and in bed i know it's so much pain right now hence why i'm spoofing my words i'm gonna get up and do this now, some women get all dressed up for the gynaecologist. I, they put on fancy knickers they have to take off before the gynaecologist even sees them because it gives them a nice boost and they feel all good. Some women want to have a perfect bikini line before anybody goes down there. Some women just don't care. If I am going to be in pain, I'm going to at least stare at some stripy legs. <laughs> Plus, it's blooming cold in the exam room, so at least part of me will still be warm.
two days later, I'm sort of vertical. I'm slightly set up right. I think that's about as far as I'm going to get. Sorry I didn't film anymore, but um, didn't quite go to plan. So, kind of just shut down due to some complications. That did not go well. It's not the fault of the woman who did the scan though. Um, she was so nice and so lovely and so careful with every single movement that she made. But due to me and my medical conditions, that was bad. I don't know if it's the fact that I run down so I'm more susceptible to pain than normal. So the probe that you saw is the one that goes inside you. I scanned my left ovary, which is my dodgy one, um, that has cysts on it and stuff. But this time the right ovary was really, really tender as well as the left and showing no movement. I don't really know what that means yet. I will not know what any of this means until the doctor has done a report on my scan. But what is usually a two minute in out job took 10 minutes of prodding around from one ovary to the next to the other, you know, back and forward. Really? Is that necessary? Because it went on for so long, my pain threshold was just plummeting. It was like every single movement hurt like mad even when she took the probe out that hurt and I was like God. and I'm still in a lot of pain now I kind of haven't moved since I got home because ow I was stupid and googled what having ovaries that don't move can mean um really shouldn't have done that if you google anything you get cancer um so it could be that <laughs> or more likely it's just the endometriosis kind of kicking up a notch and, and being worse than normal I think just endometriosis is not a good thing either but it's better than, than the C word so um but I won't know for a while but the residual pain is just it's kind of knocked me for six it hurts so much still like this is up there with with almost up there with getting coil fitted the fact that the pain isn't shifting but that's me that's my my pre-existing medical conditions it's got nothing to do with how the scan was done or how the procedure was done or anything nothing went wrong is literally because of my pre-existing medical crap that I didn't react well to it I don't want to put anybody off getting a scan if they're asked to have one or going for a smear test or any kind of gynecology setup. It's not normally this painful. I've never had pain this bad before. This is literally because of my medical stuff that it was that bad. So now I have to wait for the results. Ooh, it's getting bright. Um, I don't know how long that will be. They said they were going to put it through as urgent because there's been deterioration, but... I don't know. So I'm going to rest some more. Try not to panic about the results. I hope you guys are good. And yeah. I will see you guys soon. Bye.